Hello friends, welcome. This is our collaboration, Keeping It Real Fun Makeup Group. And each one of us today has done our own makeup look. And if you want to see each one of these beautiful ladies look, this is Michelle. Her link will be in my description box. This look is the look from Miss Julia. This look is from Miss V. And this look is from Miss Menelia. Friends, thank you so much for all of those who pray for me with this sinus infection. And my voice is coming back. So as usual, guys, you always prime your face to make sure the makeup holds on. And it makes it goes a little smoother. You moisturize and prime your face. And always use your skin type. And this also is a sponsored video by iMethod Beauty. And this is a power on a plumping lip gloss. A plumping lip gloss. So guys, I never used this. So this will be the first time I'm using it. So I definitely will try that out. So the foundation I'm using, of course, is the Too Faced Foundation, the Colored Butter Pecan. I'm applying the e.l.f. color correction stick for the dark circles under my eye. Here I'm applying my e.l.f. concealer. I love e.l.f. products, makeup products. And before you blend, always make sure you let it dry in just a little bit. some reason I could not find my setting powder after I came from the trip for my 4th of July holidays. So I'm just going to use It's Beauty Press Powder and just use that for the time being. So friends, I'm trying to go for a bronze color eyeshadow look. And I was going to use the Juvia's Eye Palette because it has a color that I like, but I did not end up using it. So I end up using my bronzer and just to put the base color on my eyes for the first layer of color. And that's all I'm going to do. And then the next color I'm going to use is something that I found a few months ago at the beauty supply store. It's like a bronze glitter color. And it really is pretty and I like that color. And I just wanted to make it simple and easy you know, doing this. So just applying the bronzer, guys, and I'm going to use the brush and my finger and the brush and my finger. So how many of you still use your fingers? And I'm still using the fingers, but still applying the brush. Here's the beautiful shadow colors, like the bronze color I'm going to use. The brown looking color is like a bronze and it's a glitter. And you have to be so careful with this glitter because it can get all over your eye, under your eye. So you have to be very careful with it. So what I'm doing is just putting a little bit of bronzer and a little dark shadow under my waterline, that's all, but not too much. I'm going to try these eye method stamps for the eye wings again. I did a review a few months ago on these and see if it'll work with this look. I have one for the left and the right. Do a little bit to my eyebrows and just do a little bit of contouring.
the friends it is raining while i'm trying to do voiceover so if you hear the rain it is storming i'd also end up going to the beauty store to get some more lashes because those that i showed you i didn't use those because they were too heavy and long and those were the kind that my granddaughters love to use those long wind heavy lashes that you can see a mile away no i don't like those but I had to get me some more. So I did um, end up getting some setting powder from the beauty store because I could not find my setting powder. And also I found a couple of pair of lashes. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these on. try to blend these lashes in with my lashes using some mascara and it's also good guys to have one of those eye lash curlers because sometimes when you put these on you have to be careful that it is not bending down so I was pushing it up to make sure so I'm coming along with this and like I said I'm going to do some little touch-ups um, when I go look in the mirror because sometimes I can when I go look in the mirror I can see little touches I need to do and some things I need to clean up and some colors I need to add and what I'm doing here and just contouring my face and adding some around my cheekbones and structure bones so you want to put the color back in your skin so friends this is how I just put this all together and trying to get it together and like I said what I mean when I says I go look in the mirror I am looking in the mirror but I go look in my bathroom mirror and stand up and I can see a whole lot better because that's a the daylight bulbs in that bathroom and I can see so much better and it helps me to see where I need to add more color and I had to put some little rouge on my um or blush call it blush put some blush on my cheeks you know to bring some color in my face but overall, guys, this look came out pretty good. Okay, let me demonstrate putting on this Eye Method lip gloss that plumps your lip. And this is the first time I'm using this. So let me see, guys. I'm telling you one thing about it. It's a pretty color. I love the bottle. That's beautiful. And guys, I'm going to be honest with you. When I apply this, oh my gosh, it's like a minty, like a minty, almost like if you're using... How can you say, Vixav feeling on your lip, a tingling feeling, I guess you can say. And I did read the instructions, and it says it takes up to 5 or 10 minutes, and it does plump your lips up. So, I do notice a difference, but just wait about 5 or 10 minutes before you apply your lipstick, and just let it plump. But I'm telling you, one thing you have to get used with this is the tingling part of it. It feel like Vixab on your lip almost. It, it really does. I mean, not in the burning way, as bad as Vixab, but that's the closest I can explain it. But um, overall, guys, as I'm trying this out, and I'm going to look and see the difference on my lip, and then after that, you can apply your lipstick. But it does kind of plump your lips a little bit. I don't need my lips plump too much, but just a little bit, guys. Well, ladies and if you want to try this i will have the link in the description box and if you need your lip a little more plump and that is for you guys hey you can try this and it's cheaper than getting injections i'm telling you that much so i'm telling you but it does give you a little tingling feeling i must let you know that and i think it lasts this up to five or ten minutes and after that you should be fine I'm 
back here fanning guys because it is hot and I was drinking some hot tea you know for my cold and that sinus infection and boy I'm just having a hot moment so that's why you see me doing it it's nothing to do with the lip stuff okay but I'm just kind of fanning to try to cool off because it's hot back here friends here's the finished look and I'm telling you it does make a difference on your lip so hmm not too bad not too bad Once again, friends, this is my finished look. But as always, behind the scenes, I do still do little touch-ups. And I use this ponytail that I got from the beauty supply store and just put a little accessories with it. And I want to thank iMethod for reaching out to me to send me their product for review. It's the Power On Pumping Lip Gloss. And if you can get beyond the tingling feeling, guys, you can deal with this so i hope that you like this and i'm telling you it does does really work i see a difference in my lips i knew it was something different on my look today and that what it was this gloss because at first i didn't realize it was a plumping lip gloss I want to thank Keeping It Real Fun Collab for putting every beautiful look together. Friends, this really takes time. And if you're new today, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. And I will leave you some more videos to watch in my end screen. Love y'all from Penny and bye-bye.